let's get to balancing. So we're asked to balance this redox reaction. It's pretty clear right off the bat what our two half reactions are. We don't really even need to worry about the oxidation numbers here because, again, it's pretty clear what the oxidation numbers are. This is a very simple example here. Uh, the way I like to solve these is I like to go ahead and write the two half reactions out and then just kind of add things to the two sides as I, uh, as I continue balancing. So the first one here, the mass is already balanced. We have the correct number of aluminums on both sides. No need to balance oxygen, no need to balance um, hydrogen. The only thing that needs balancing is the charge. We have zero on the left plus three on the right. So to balance that, we would add three electrons to the right. It's again, just whichever side of the half reaction is uh, higher in terms of its charge, add electrons to that side until it's the same charge as the lower one. It's the only way you could balance the charge. Same thing here, no need to balance anything else other than charge. So two electrons on the left makes the charge on both sides zero, so that it is equal. The next step is to get the number of electrons that is being transferred to be the same on both sides, uh, or in both half reactions. We can only get electrons in packets of two from this half reaction. We can only get electrons in packets of three from this half reaction. And so we're going to take everything here and multiply it by two, everything here and multiply it by three. Uh, so if we do that, what we're going to end up with is six electrons plus three copper two plus plus two aluminum goes to uh, two aluminum three plus plus three coppers plus six electrons. I'm going to cancel everything out that shows up on both sides. In this case, the only thing that shows up on both sides is those electrons. And so our final answer then, the balanced chemical equation here is that. 3 copper 2 plus, oops, 3 copper 2 plus plus 2 aluminums goes to 2 aluminum 3 plus and 3 coppers. So it is still balanced according to mass, but now it is also balanced according to the charge. All right, let's do a more interesting example here. So again, in this case, it's pretty clear what's being oxidized and what's being reduced, so I'm not going to bother with um, working out all the oxidation numbers, um, or at least, very, well, I shouldn't say it's clear what's being oxidized and what's being reduced. It's, it's more clear what the two half reactions are. Um, so we have Fe2 plus going to Fe3 plus. In that case, it is pretty clear um, that this is being oxidized. Its oxidation number is increasing. And then we have this, uh, which I believe is actually the same half reaction we saw a minute ago. So if we're going to go ahead and balance each of these half reactions, this first one here, the iron is already balanced. No need to balance oxygen, no need to balance hydrogen, just the charge. We have plus three on the right, plus two on the left. The only way to balance that is by adding one electron on the right to get both of them down to plus two. So this half reaction is now balanced. If we do a similar thing here with the permanganate, uh, the manganese is already balanced. To get the oxygen to balance, we're going to add four waters, which gives us the oxygens we need, but then messes up the number of hydrogens, and so we have to add eight H plus to get the hydrogens to balance, which is the next step there. So now all the masses are balanced, so we need to balance the charge. So we have eight 
plus a negative 1 gives us plus 7, plus 2. So if we have plus 7 on the left, plus 2 on the right, we need 5 electrons on the left. Notice here again that this is the exact same half reaction we saw uh, two examples ago. Uh, even though it's participating in a different overall reaction, the half reaction is actually exactly the same. So the next step here, now that we have the two half reactions balanced, we need to get the number of electrons being transferred to be the same. However many are being given up in the oxidation, we need the same number being accepted in the reduction. That's fairly easy to do. We just need five of that first reaction. So if we add those together, we will end up with five electrons plus 8H plus plus uh, MnO4 minus plus 5 iron 2 plus goes to 5 iron, oops, be helpful if I wrote it correctly, iron 3 plus plus uh, Mn2 plus plus 4 waters plus 5 electrons. Ugh. What a mess, big mess. But if we notice here, again, the only things that cancel are the electrons. And if you check, eight hydrogens, eight hydrogens, one manganese, one manganese, four oxygens, four oxygens, five irons, five irons, and the charge balances as well. So this is our balanced chemical uh, redox equation. All right, I think I will save the, the balancing basic uh, in basic solutions for the next video, because otherwise this would be really long. So we'll go ahead and do that in the next video. So I will see you all there.